I was looking for a place where I could feel comfortable and where I could keep studying and continue to grow um, and just to get a really good education. I originally chose HNU because I uh, received an athletic scholarship to play softball. So one of the reasons why I picked HNU was the fact that it wasn't too far from home, which was really nice because I can go home when I want to and my parents can come up here, my family, my sister. Oh, a big part of it is because a sco soccer scholarship, financially, you know, you want to do what's best for you and your family at the end of the day. I really like that each of my classes that I have taken have 35 students or less. Their small class sizes make it much easier for me to connect with the professors and um, reach out. I'm not just seen as another number in the classroom. To me, I love that it's a small campus. Um, the dorms aren't that far away from like the classrooms and it's easy to get back and forth. If you are ever on campus and you ever are in front of the chapel, I promise you, you're never gonna get tired of looking at it. It's pretty every single day, every single morning, every single night. The view from the chapel is gorgeous. You could see all of Oakland, you could see Alameda, and on a really clear day, you could see San Francisco and the Golden Gate Bridge. One of the things I appreciate the most is the professors. Um, they make themselves really available to us students. So whenever we want to meet them after class or meet them during class, all we have to do is just email them a day ahead or an hour ahead of time and they'll actually meet with us. You know, they go the extra mile for you and just want to see you succeed at the end of the day. They want you to think critically. They want you to use your own brain power rather than what they've asked you to be memorizing. There's a lot of cool events on campus that gets you involved and you meet new friends from different areas and different countries as well. For me, it's just all the different people I've met. I've met people that I know will be in my life forever. Some of the friends that I've made, I will definitely continue after, way after HNU. So I'm really, I'm really appreciative and thankful. I have met my best friends while attending. They have become my family and my home away from home. I definitely came into college thinking that I wanted to get in and out in four years. I didn't want to be involved and I ended up making really, really good friends that I'll probably have for the rest of my life. In one way or another, someone helps out another person, whether it's by joining a club and helping out an event or by giving them directions towards uh, where their classroom is or you know inviting them to events and things like that. I feel like I've made a lot of great friendships and um, relationships with the people around me from my RAs to peer mentors to the people I meet in my classes. It's very diverse as well so there's an opportunity to meet people from different parts of the world which has been really really amazing um, and at the same time it also feels like home. It just felt like home. It felt like a place I could see myself living for four years. I think finding a university where I can be me and grow in a bunch of different aspects of my life is amazing. I appreciate HNU for allowing me to grow for the four years and actually become involved and um, come out of my shell. Having the opportunity to be in different leadership positions, I've been able to join different clubs and I've also uh, been a peer mentor and I've also had the opportunity to be a student employee on campus as I am now. You know, it's kind of sad that my time at HNU is coming to an end, but um, it's been more for sure a learning experience. I've grown as a person. I'm actually sad that I now have to leave. So that was something that I didn't expect. I love it here. It's my home. I hope future Hawks can see those same qualities too. Really appreciate HNU. Go Hawks. I hope that you become a future Hawk and see you guys later.